and be aware of our capability. So in the beginning of、uh, the episode, we say, "Oh, our brain thinking about the things. Our mental energy is way powerful than our physical body's capability." So when you are thinking about those things, you are actually doing that. You are giving away of your power to your imagination.、Mm. Again, imagination is a positive and a negative ability that、mm. we have. So we all know, like every time when we talk about creation, is you have imagination. What do you do next? Hello, everybody. This is Anita. Today joining us will be another host. He is Eric. Welcome, Eric. Thanks, Anita. It's glad to be here. Everyone, welcome again to another fantastic episode on Taiwanica Podcast. I am so excited to share this information with you today because it is going to be something that a lot of people do know that they have in their lives, and it's becoming a more common topic. But it's still something that we experience unconsciously too much, where that we don't know how to do anything about it when it does happen, and there are becoming new terms. Surrounding it, that we'll dive into today, that will help you understand. Oh my gosh, this is definitely happening to me because it happens to everybody. And the good news is, is that if you're aware of it, you're going to be able to overcome it. You're not going to be overwhelmed by it.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's that. And then for me personally, I'm going to be shedding some light on overwhelm in both the negative and the positive aspects because. There is indeed a way to be positively overwhelmed, but more on that later. Let's dive in today's episode. Yes,、um, thank you so much. I think you said it very well because everybody in this modern society must experience a different degrees of overwhelming moment, and sometimes we didn't pay attention to it until we are experience a higher intensity. That's when we like burst, like we exploded. And、um, today, I think the the point of us having this episode is helping you not just doing when it's really really intense. You can have some activities that you can do. Also, we will be telling you what can you do on a daily basis in order not to go to that you know like high intensity, overwhelming moment and you explode and you got too emotional. Those kind of things. Absolutely yes. There are different degrees of overwhelm, and the thing is, is that it's all about focus. And we're going to be diving into what kind of focuses are preventing us from having this overwhelming moment be released. And also, we're going to talk about how do these focuses cause overwhelm. And so, these are the two main aspects of a lot of things that people just aren't aware of, and it makes sense why they're not. Because the things about overwhelm is everything is really subtle, and then it stops being subtle all of a sudden. And just、mm. all of a sudden, you're like, "Oh God, I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't、mm. know what to do." And we'll analyze and break down those things for you now. So, Anita, what are some things that you can think of off the top of your head that causes you to feel、mm. overwhelmed easily? Wow, definitely work and life. I think a lot of people. I've seen the research before. Like right now, about like eighty percent of the population of the world is struggling to have work life balance. I think it's not just you know trying to balance your work and your personal life. Also, when you're doing your work, you're also trying to balance everything. Right, yeah. Like your time with your coworkers, how to set、um, you know personal time within in your working hours when you need to take a break. You no, know, there's a lot of struggles happening in those kind of circumstances. So for me, even though I work from home, especially when you work from home, because you have difficult time separating one area. You know, you work from home and you are at your house, right?、Mm-hmm. And you know. Probably like twenty years ago, before COVID, people can associate your home just your relaxing time. You go home, play with your kids, cooking, eating dinner, and you go to the office to work. Right? We have this separation,、mm. but right now, because of COVID, it gives us a lot of convenience, which is you can work from home, Zoom meeting, but also at the same time, it's causing you this problem of you know how to separate, how to identify when is your work. When when is your work time? When is your personal time? Yeah. So especially when you work from home, this is like, for me, I pay attention to it. It will be my daily today challenge that、mm-hmm. I have to be aware of it, be present with it, and I will tell myself how do I separate those kind of thing in order to not get to the point that when I feel overwhelmed. Absolutely, what a great example! And we'll talk more about the strategies on to overcome those. 
overwhelming experiences at home in a little bit. But uh, I want to share my example as well. And it's very similar to what you said, but mm-hmm. just to make it a little bit more specific, it's uh, whenever I am home mm-hmm. and I know that my worlds collide l- mm-hmm. with work and family and anything else in between, right? Mm-hmm. At those specific moments, I'm starting to notice that my brain is literally going in 20 different directions at the same time. Right. Distractions. Distractions. I'm focusing on one thing. All of a sudden, there's a new focus that's mm-hmm. drawing my attention, For example, I might be working and all of a sudden my personal life, maybe my son or Anita will be needing my attention all of a sudden. And the the focus on that or there's a phone call or a neighbor knocks on the door, you Mm. know, a package arrives. It could just be so many different things Mm. that wrap around you all at once. And normally we're capable of being aware that those are going to happen. Mm. And that's if you have the an idea that, you know, in specific time, this is going to have this specific action happen, then you can keep yourself calm for m- majority of the time. But if you have too many things build up at once. So, for example, I have uh, a meeting and then I have to get a project done and I have a class in the next hour and then I have an interview and then I have to do a, a podcast episode and then I have to do editing. All of these things all at once start to make your brain think, well, you have all these really big things that you need mm-hmm. to do. Where do you start? And that's right. where you get the thing called, this is the first thing I want to introduce today, paralysis analysis. Mm. So you're analyzing all the things that you're capable of doing, that you have the ability to do, and you know you can do them. Mm. Every challenge that you have in life is never bigger than you. You can always overcome any challenge that you have. But the thing is, is that if you have too many of them, you're just personally uh, and physically going to feel oh my gosh i don't know where to start right and so you focus on thinking about getting each of them done but you don't actually do physically do Mm. them you're Mm -hmm. thinking about them but you're not doing them and that's what we call paralysis analysis so to really numb yourself inside of analyzing the situation Mm -hmm. Like your mental power is way like overpowering your mm. your physical capability. Exactly, that's what happened. That's what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. So we all experience those kind of moments, and which we will be talking about how to not doing this, mm. right? So your personal life is sorry. Your overwhelming experiences when you work from home, you have those distractions mm-hmm. that happen at the same time. Mm-hmm. I also want to share an American generalized Mm -hmm. uh, example for everyone to kind of get an idea of what it's like Mm -hmm. inside the United States where this can easily happen. You know, keep in mind, this is happening on a daily basis for a lot of people. It's not something that is just a once in a lifetime Mm -hmm. sort of thing. It's something that can literally happen every day, every week, every Mm -hmm. month. You know, it it just depends on the person's capability of keeping their minds and their bodies contained. And we'll help with that later. But in the United States, a very easy example is taxes. Mm -hmm. So take taxes as an example. When seasons of tax come around, uh, if you're a business owner or just a personal, uh, a a single person who has their own taxes that they have to take care of in the United States, This is just that additional thing in the back of your mind that lingers so much that it it causes a ripple effect on everything else that you have to do because you're thinking, oh, I have all this work to do, but I also have to take care of my taxes. Or, oh, my God, I have to take care of the kids, but I also need to take care of my taxes. And taxes have a deadline. So it's like the closer it gets, the more stress it creates in your brain. So you start to feel even more overwhelmed. And to the point where you don't, your all the other important things around you don't get done until, until you do your taxes. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 大家好，想要跟我们一起学英文吗 ？No, no, no. 我们现在还有新的课程可以一起上喽。那就是情绪管理。Amazing Talker 呢，非常棒，开设了一个新的专区，也就是情绪管理专区。那我们呢，非常厉害哦 ，Eric and I， 我们两个是情绪管理的专家，所以呢，如果想要跟我们一起上这样的课程的话呢，可以到我们两个的首页去看更多的细节，以下连接开放点选，希望可以赶快跟你们一起上课哦，拜拜。
Yeah, this one I can share my personal perspective about this. Like in Taiwan, we have also tax season. Of course, it's、mm-hmm. every May. Yeah, no March. Anyways, we have a tax season. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> And in Taiwan, the reason why I don't remember it because it's very easy to get done in Taiwan. Our government is amazing. If you go to their website, there's a way that you can easily log into the system, and they will tell you oh how much you need to pay and how you gonna fill out the form. We have the standard form, and all you have to do just type in the information like how many how many people in your family, what's their age, just give in the information, and it's going to be done.、Hmm. If not, you just go to the tax office, and they will just Do it for you. Remember, we did it once when、yeah, we were in Taiwan. Absolutely. Like within twenty minutes, it was done. It's done. And you know how much money you're getting back, right? Which immediately, is amazing because the United States is definitely not that fast, right? So I was surprised when we when we got here. Like when we do the tax, we were like, what? Because so many details that you have to provide, and they ask you like this kind of questions, like what does that even mean? Well, it's because the United States, we are one of the very first countries in the world that had taxes,、oh. and because of that, our first tax paper came out. This is not about taxes. This episode is definitely not about taxes, but <laughs> our, our first tax paper was like one sheet of paper. Now it's、right. like five thousand pages long. Oh, that's okay, okay. that's true, like five thousand. Okay, well, you don't have to file that, but 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 the point is, is that we have that many details. <laughs> Available,、right. and、Ooh. so there are lots of benefits、mm. if you know what they are,、that's、and so that's why we have the capability of filling out、mm. so much information.、Mm-hmm. So, so this is a perfect example of the positive side and the negative side of overwhelming、exactly. situation. <laughs> exactly, this is definitely a negative.、Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But like you say, if you know how to do it, you know, like some some people are just really familiar with the forms、mm-hmm. because in America, you guys have like a numbers for the form, like I one. Four seven,、oh, for example. We have a ten ninety nine and a ten forty. These are the two most common. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what he's talking about, but yeah, <laughs> the text, the form, the form that you have. You know, you guys, if you know the way, you can save a lot of money and get a lot of money back. So that's the national wise overwhelming <laughs> season for most of American people. I mean,、same. it's just a great example.、Mm-hmm. We got a, quite a few. Another great one is Christmas because everyone needs to buy. Well, if you're Christian and you celebrate Christmas, everyone needs to buy gifts for pretty much everybody.、Mm-hmm. And so, if you don't, then it causes a you know an impression on you, and so、right. it's more of a relationship stress rather、mm-hmm. than a financial stress. Right. But right. it's another type of overwhelm.、Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, you mentioned about another point is we all. We already talked about there are many different degrees of overwhelm, and overwhelming situation also have different types. Like、oh. one, one of them is what you so called community and social life、yep. overwhelm.、Mm. So we also experience that in Taiwan, which、ah. is you know we love our holidays and we love basically every holiday that you look at it is. We focus on the time that you have to spend with your family.、Mm. We watch news. Oh,、uh, next month we have this moon festival. You have to get your ticket first because otherwise the, all the ticket will be sold out because、mm. everybody is going home. So basically, every big holidays we all need to go home.、Mm. So we, this is what we cared about. We cared about family unity. Of course, we also have overwhelming moments like this because we sometimes we have to spend time with our family, but we don't really want to.、Yeah. Or we spend the time with the our uncle's grandparents' son, like、so、some random person in your family. Yeah, and 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 we have to also another thing is we have to remember their titles. Ah, yes. That show respect.、Mm-hmm. I remember every time we have family gathering, my father will be like,、oh, "This is、uh, your your something something something," and you have to call him a name, you know, like a、oh. title. You have to basically remember everything, and you have to be ready,、mm-hmm. like to be the best. What they so call that that the, the society standard, like you're the best self,、mm. like you're successful. If you're in the college, you have to be like straight A student.、Mm. Or、mm. if you're already married, you have to you know present your kids perfectly. Like your kids is like you know well raised. I don't know. Or、mm. your your husband is like you know like the the person that will liked who identifies as successful or good husband. So there's a lot of detail attached to it.、Mm-hmm. Also, we don't say it. You know、mm-hmm. the Asian culture. We don't actually say what we th- what we are thinking about. That cause us more stress because、mm. they don't say it. We don't know what is going on. Yeah. So you have to be like 
fully paying attention to the environment they are in. Yeah. Like every time you are in this kind of family gathering, we will just every <laughs> after like one or two hours of doing this, when you go home, you feel exhausted because you're you're mentally like stressed. Oh sure. Right. Maybe you're not doing that much, you know, because you're social. You're talking to other people. Your physical body is not doing much, but. Your brain is like working all the time. I have to look at that uncle's face. Is doing certain things. Maybe he needs something, or I need to switch to a different topic. Maybe he doesn't like the topic that I was talking about. You know, those kind of things. Wow. So that is definitely a big one. And the second one, I would say, is definitely the test season.、Mm-hmm. We have a lot of tests、mm-hmm. every day. Little quizzes every day. <laughs> This is not just for students. You know, when you are working, when you have a job, and every year your company will have like a big. It, it wouldn't be a test. I mean, some company will have like tests, like certificate you need to get、mm. in order to have a raise or you know promotion. And sometimes it will be like I don't know how to call that year end evaluation. Oh, year end evaluation, sure. Right, right, right. Like your performance、uh, this year in the past year, how much you sell, what's your what's your score,、mm. uh, how do you interact with your clients, how do you you know solve the crisis during the work. Those are being putting into like evaluation. Connects to how much money, how much year end、uh, bonuses we will get. So, test <laughs> definitely an <are> overwhelming <laughs>、yeah. situation circumstances for most Taiwanese people. Well, very interesting. I think these are great examples because it touches base on pretty much everything that both of our countries notice. That can create overwhelm easily, right? Right, and so it's interesting how overwhelm can happen. But the thing is, we just all mentioned a lot of things that are consciously happening、mm-hmm. to us:、right. relationships, holidays,、mm-hmm. taxes, tests. All of these things are something that we can notice,、mm-hmm. right? We know that they're happening, and、right. therefore, when they happen, we feel it's not overwhelmed. Necessarily, it's more like anxiety、mm. towards these things,、okay. right? I feel anxious about the expectation of doing this specific activity because I've done it before and I was super anxious,、right. you know. And so, the feeling of being anxious for that and preparing to do that, you are actually focusing on it so much that it becomes. Overwhelm,、mm-hmm. right? Because、yeah. you're overwhelmed with anxiety,、yeah. right? This is the secret that I wanted to bring up today. With overwhelm, is、mm. that it's never just overwhelm; it's overwhelmed with something.、Mm-hmm. So whatever emotion that could be.、Mm. So that's why this could be a negative and positive thing.、Mm. More on that in a minute, though. So I want to dive into why we can get into overwhelm unconsciously. And so, one of the things about that is, we have subtle reminders of stress、mm. inside of our lives, can, and they are not things that can happen to us on a regular basis. It's more of something that we do unconsciously. So, let me give you an example, very clear for everybody who has a house, which I'm pretty sure you all have homes that you live in, is cups. Okay. I like drinking out of a cup,、mm-hmm. and sometimes I drink out of my favorite cup. Right now, I have my Mickey Mouse cup, and it's pretty cute, and I use it all the time. But sometimes my Mickey Mouse cup is dirty、mm-hmm. with something else other than just water or tea. Maybe I drink like milk out of it.、Mm-hmm. Okay, and so I put another cup next to it.、Mm-hmm. So I'm like, this is my water cup, and this is my old milk cup. I'll take care of that later. Oh, but now I'm thirsty for some hot chocolate. I love chocolate, right? So I go get another cup, and then I put it on the table.、Mm-hmm. I have three cups on my table now.、Right. Oh,、uh, now I'm looking at when I leave the table, and I don't pick up these cups, and I go do something else. I'm thinking, oh, I'll take care of them later.、Mm-hmm. It seems small, right? But I'm not th- consciously thinking about it.、Mm-hmm. It's just there in、right. the background. Okay, then. Oh, there's clothes on the ground.、Mm. Oh, then there's you know the cats are hungry. Or then oh, my son has a poopy diaper. Okay, it starts to slowly add up these little things. This is what we call unconscious focus.、Mm. This unconscious focus 
of having these tiny little things build up behind you in the background. If there are a few, it's okay. You can handle it because, you know, it's not too many, right? Mm -hmm. And too many, just so you know, if you're wondering what is too many, usually anything above three or four Mm. little things that you need to get done starts to become too many in the back of your brain. So if you have about three little activities that you need to get done, then just do them now. But if it's one or two, then your brain can handle it. You're Mm -hmm. just like, okay, I can take care of that later. But if you notice that they're starting to add up, maybe it's time to get them done. Because if you don't, what will happen is that you're going to get sidetracked. Mm. You're going to start losing your focus. Right. Because those little things are still all back there in the back of your brain, taking a little bit of energy each, Mm -hmm. right? Right. And you only have so much energy that you can consume each day. Right. So the sooner you get them done, the sooner you get that energy back. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned about a lot of good points that we can pay attention to. One is your energy level. One of the way that you can be present with your condition, like your mental ability and your physical ability is to pay attention how much energy that you have, right? It's very easy to understand. So when the situation like this, especially when you have the thoughts that I'll do it later, Mm. your brain knows it's something small. Mm. But that's very dangerous because usually the small things can accumulate to something big you know we all we all know that again it's a positive and negative side of it Mm. so i one thing i learned from the famous book i actually have the book here this one atomic habits very useful is it really simple to remember every time just like what eric mentioned if you have a cup there and you have another cup you have another cup and you your brain started thinking i'll do it later that's when you start to change. Like, ask yourself, can I do it within 30 seconds? If the answer is yes, do it now. Mm. So this 30 seconds rules, I think it's very, very useful because like you said, if you don't do it and you know it, the dirty cups just sit on your table, you will shift your focus, which we also mentioned about earlier, distractions. Mm. Distraction is usually a main factor that push you go to the overwhelm on the side of the overwhelm because distraction and you have limited energy to tackle down the tasks that's when overwhelm happened right Mm -hmm. it's kind of like equation so when the little things happen and you know it needs to get done ask yourself can i do it in 30 seconds Mm. right that's like a really good way to do it Mm. and i think it's really yeah it's very important that we have to pay attention to it so once you do it ask yourself can i finish this in the 30 seconds you are actually practicing being present which is another very important a way that you can do on a daily basis to avoid the huge explosion of overwhelm which we will dive into later i think it's a great example and strategy that people can immediately add to their lives so Mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that Uh, i will give it a a go myself i had never done that before Uh, maybe i've (laughs) done next (laughs) next time when i see your (laughs) 30 cups on your table i'll tell you can you do it in 30 seconds eric all right challenge accepted yeah right so no it's definitely good now anita gave a great example attached to the uh, the fear or the overwhelm that i was just bringing up so i'm going to ask anita one and see what she says in return now so i talked about cups but what if i have tons of ideas Mm -hmm. in my head and i don't know what to do with all of these ideas Mm -hmm. right i'm just stuck in this loop and my in my head Mm -hmm. and i'm just thinking oh i could do this i can do that i have but and then i keep on thinking about the same problem every single day so let's get really specific so you have a clear idea let's say i have a financial fear Okay, am I going to be able to pay the rent this month? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I just keep on thinking about it. Can I be able to pay this rent? Can I be able to pay this rent? Mm -hmm. Is this overwhelm? And if it is, what's a good strategy to get out of it? When you when you lost in your brain about the things you are going to do, and you have the idea that oh my god, I don't know what to do, or how am I going to blah blah blah, as a probably a really good sign that you're overwhelmed. And how to take uh, take care of the situation is. I think we need to pay attention, be aware of our capability. So in the beginning of uh, the episode, we say, oh, our brain thinking about the things, our mental energy is way powerful than our physical body's capability. So when you're thinking about those things, you're actually doing that. You're giving a weight of your power to your imagination. 
Mm. Again, imagination is a positive and a negative ability that、mm. we have. So we all know, like every time when we talk about creation, is you have imagination. What do you do next?、Mm. What do you do next when you have? After imagine? I imagine something, yeah. Well, I try to do something. Exactly. Right. So when you get it done, you're actually putting your physical body into the things you are thinking about.、Mm. You can one, you have the connection between your brain and your physical body.、Mm -hmm. Then you will know your body. Your brain is very smart, so、mm. they will quickly do the evaluation. See, this is possible. That's not. That's going to waste my time to doing that.、Mm. So you have to create this connection when you are thinking about something.、Mm. So just like you say, your brain. Of course, we can do. If I wanted to, you know, have a rocket to the moon right now, I can do it. Right? I can use my imagination to do that. Bye. <laughs> in order to do that, you have to put in the effort to do, you know, project stuff like that.、Mm. So that's back to the most common situation is when we are thinking about so many things that we can do, so many things that we should do. How how are we going to make it a reality?、Mm. Right?、Mm. You have to make this connection when you are thinking about something that's not real. It's just in your brain. In order to make it real, in order to make it possible to get done, you have to make it a physical form. So the very first、uh, things that you can do is writing it down.、Mm. Because when you're writing down on the piece of paper, one you give yourself to think about how real this thing is going to get done.、Mm. And for example, you mentioned about how am I going to pay my rent this month? Right. Right. When you're writing it down, and then you will be started to think about how, right? Because you already make it a physical form. Again,、mm. you make the connection between your Physical capability and the task you're going to do.、Mm. So okay, next thing I'll probably write it down. Oh my 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 rent is certain amount of money,、mm. and this is how much I make each month.、Mm -hmm. So you started to you know solve your problems、mm. like this.、Mm. When you experience this kind of thing, your brain thinking about too much and you don't know where to start. I would suggest to writing down the things、mm. throughout the whole day. Just keep a notepad on your, in your pocket. Writing it down the things that you wanted to get done today,、hmm. and the next step, I would say, if the thing is too big, ask yourself, what can I do? For example, the rent. How am I gonna pay the rent? Writing down the deadline of the rent, like when's the last day you have to pay the rent, and each day you make small step towards to that goal for the、mm -hmm. bigger tasks、mm -hmm. like this,、mm -hmm. right? If it's small, you know, when am I going to take out the trash? Maybe after lunch. Can、Maybe、I do it in thirty seconds? Can you do it in thirty seconds? That's、mm -hmm. great example. Yes. Can I do it in thirty seconds? Yes. Then go do it. You're crossing out a thing on your list.、Mm -hmm. Another things I think writing it down is good because you can literally physically in the physical world crossing it out and it gives you this dopamine hit, like oh I can get things done. Dopamine is happiness. Yes. It's also a chemical of motivation in your、well. brain. In your brain. Yes. So when you are in this physical world, you make it real. Like, oh, I have this thing, and I can get it done.、Mm -hmm. You can push you to do more and more, not just overwhelmed by your thought. Wonderful. And I think Anita is diving into the first strategy that I wanted to introduce today. So I'm going to just dive into that right now, and that is writing a list. I like to call it mind dumping. And that's basically the idea where you are going to take all of the ideas. It doesn't matter what it's about. It could be anything related to family, finances, your career. Doesn't matter. Just get a paper and just write down in any order that you want to all the things that you need to get done now.、Mm -hmm. Because what will happen is that you are literally creating space in your brain once more. So that you can do those activities、mm -hmm. and not feel this sense like you're. For example, this is something that we have on a personal level with Anita is that her iPhone is always so full because she <laughs> takes so many pictures and videos of our son. So she's always having to delete extra things on her phone in order to have more videos and photos of our son. So. This is what is a good example of what mind dumping is for you and your ideas. Get all of the ideas out of your head that you have right now, so that you have space in your head to create more ideas to attack、mm. and challenge and overcome、right. the challenges that are already happening. Okay,、mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little bit more information to that. The next best thing after you write it all down, 
Okay, you're going to think, oh, God, I have all these things I got to do. All right, but do you technically have to do them all today? You probably don't have to do them all today. It's okay if you don't. Mm -hmm. But there are some that you do. What are those? Circle them or highlight them. Make them targets Mm -hmm. so that when your brain sees those and you're like, all right, I know these are the ones I need to get done Mm -hmm. today, Mm -hmm. then I go after them. And guess what? Because you have so much space in your brain, your brain's going to think of all the ideas that you need to do to get it done. Mm -hmm. And so guess what? You're going to get what Anita called the dopamine hit. You're going to cross that baby out. You're going to feel really happy Mm -hmm. and motivated to do the next one. Right. Right. So this is a great strategy for you to feel that excitement and feel free from that overwhelm. Hey, everyone. Eric here. Hope you're really enjoying today's episode. I am so excited for you to be able to try all the new things that you are learning in this episode. Now, just so you know, there is a second part of this episode, Overwhelm, that will be coming out in just a few days. So stay tuned to check it out. Thanks so much for tuning in to Taiwanica. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for listening, and we'll catch you in the next episode.